Peter is the owner of Exclusive Fly Fishing and Q Fly Shop and has been hosting fishing trips to Denmark for quite some years now. This is the second fly I would like to tie for you. A big thank you to every single person who watches and enjoys these videos. It really means a lot to us, and to me personally. Your subscription would be much appreciated. It helps more than you know. So Peter started off with a Partridge CS54 in a size 8. And he's attached his thread. And the first thing he's going to do, he's going to take a little bit of red SLF dubbing. And as you see, he just takes a pinch, and ties it in at the middle, just tie it on top. A couple of wraps and double it over. Then secure it with some extra wraps and trim it. This uh, will create a little, uh, little tag, something for the fish to focus on. And the next step is to take some gray fox. Take away the underfur. Again, tie it over the red tag. It's about two, two and a half times the length of the uh, of the red little tag. Tie it in with some wraps and trim away the excess. Just like with the first fly from the series, uh, I'm going to take a little bit of lead wire. This will make sure that the fly will ride correctly in the water. It's quite thin. Just take some wraps along the shank and break it off. And if you really wanted to, you can uh, add a drop of uh, sepa gap. Or you can just use your thread to secure it. So once you've done that, you'll uh, take a grizzly hackle. If you're looking for the right feathers for this, just send an email to Peter or call the shop. He'll be more than happy to help you out. Tie in the hackle. Make sure it's secure. I'm gonna take a little bit of the dubbing we also use for the pedigrise. So this is just a little mix of some uh, SLF or scud dubbing. Mixed in with some ice dub. And for this we use the UV ice dub. Create your body with the dubbing. And make sure you leave about a millimeter in front of the eye to hook finish the fly. Now just take the hackle, wrap towards the eye of the hook. Now tie it off. Trim away the stem. And this is basically the fly. Uh, I'm just gonna whip finish it and give it a little bit of a brush and pick out some of the dubbing. A couple of half, half itches and some uh, snapper gap or just Use your whip finisher. But I would suggest you use a little bit of sepa gap on it just to make the fly more durable. You've speeded up this process for you. Just pick out the dubbing. Give it a brush. And there we go. So here's Peter's box of uh, sea trout flies. As you can see, he fish quite small flies. The only really large fly he fishes is the uh, pedigree. Thank you for watching. Check us out next time.